which has kind of led you down the path of being exposed to a lot of philosophies, a lot of mm-hmm. uh, suggestions from an injury rehab standpoint. Mm-hmm. And you've been all over the country, and I'm sure you've spoken to a variety of people from around the world yes. in regards to your uh, rehab process, your um, from the moment you either have surgery or the moment you have your injury to getting back to the field. What has been some of the things that you've found to be you know, um, valuable in that, that time to find the people that are going to be the best resource for you? Yeah, you know, one of the things that I learned really quickly that I didn't understand at first was how much the body is connected. You know, I mentioned tearing my ACL a couple years later. It's like, well, we have to go back and look at your toe surgery in 2007, where naturally you don't have much mobility. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's healed, mm-hmm. but you still don't have as much mobility yeah. in the toe which at which affects the mobility in the essentially ankle, like the, the knee, knee and the hip you know it moves up the chains yeah right exactly. all my injuries have been on the right side you know starting from like when i did my my toe yeah. you know and it's just it's it's weird you know how that how that all connects um did you do your own? So listening to a variety of different people, obviously you kind of took in a lot of information and learned as mm-hmm. much as just listening to them. You like taking, you vet your own information, mm-hmm. right? And so understanding, you started picking people that almost started saying the same thing, mm-hmm. and I'm sure that influenced like who you maybe started to trust or who you started to kind of uh, follow to get you back to the way you know you wanted to be for your competition. I'd imagine. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I've been fortunate to, to work with some really uh, intelligent people uh, who have a, uh, just a really distinct understanding of what the body is and how it works and, and how everything connects. And it's like, I don't know, for me it's like if, if you want to be great at something, if you want to be the absolute best at, at something, you know, you'll, you'll take the time to uh, really educate yourself on uh, everything that's involved. So for me, you know, like playing ball, being an athlete, the most important thing for me to understand outside of like X's and O's and mm-hmm. is your your body. Like what makes you function? Like how yep. it functions out there. Like yep. How can I perform at my very best, at the highest level? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not always about like, oh, I got to be the man in front of me like obviously that's a that's a part of it but how do I even get there like how do I prepare myself to even be in that moment to have the confidence Mm -hmm. in that moment you know how do do you get your confidence when your confidence comes from like hard work and knowing like yourself and your body and how how it operates yep explore exploring yourself explore who you are that's how you get to like that's how players have like a go-to move Yep. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's the same, but it always works. Yeah. It's the same move, but it always, because they're so in tune mm-hmm. with, with their body, they know how to use it, they know how to make that same move work mm-hmm. every time. It's like, how do you get beat by that? Well, that's he works on that, yeah. you know, or she yeah. works on that. Yeah. You know? They know exactly when to use it. Yeah. And exactly when they see a few things line up, boom, now's the time. It's, it's, yeah, perfect it's, that. it's so interesting. Yeah. And so you start to learn like all of these intricate things that play into that like uh like prehab Mm -hmm. like well what is that well that this is a way to prevent injuries these are these are injury prevention exercises that you can do you know how do you you know how do you decide like what what uh uh uh, prehab exercises i should do well that comes from evaluation Mm -hmm. of the body are you stiff anywhere where, where perhaps are you less mobile at? Because uh, mobility is huge, right? Uh, some stiffness is is important as well mm-hmm. for like you know speed and yeah for your position as well other yeah. things, right? Yeah. yeah. And so being able to understand those things is is you know huge. It's hugely important. Understanding that like you know everything comes from the core. It's the center of gravity in your body, mm-hmm. and so regardless of how strong your shoulders are, or your calves, or whatever. If if this is weak in here, if it's not tight, those things won't function uh, the way that they should. Mm-hmm. You know, 
uh, understanding that, you know, I thought like your quads had to be really strong when I was young. You know, it's yeah. like, well, really, uh, the most important muscle as far as your lower body are the glutes, right? That go along with the core, right? That, that yeah. you know, that helps you really function everything. It just drives it. Yeah. 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 That's the driver. Yeah. You know, as you start to get older, you start to feel, you know, more things. And if it matters to you, you want to understand why you're feeling that. There's always a reason. Sometimes it's just like, it could be you're getting older. Sometimes it's a result of prior injuries and stuff like that. But, you know, some of us, you know, we take these aches and, and things like that and we just kind of, ah, we just ignore it, you know. Right. Not understanding that. Well, you know, your knee could be hurting because of what you're eating during the day. Well, what? What do you mean? Mm. Like, what, that doesn't have to do any. that doesn't have anything to do with, like, physical, like, feeling, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm just it's eating not, not mechanical, yeah. yeah. You know? Yep. But it's important to know that because, like, you may be eating something that causes yes. an inflammatory reaction in your body and you don't even know it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right. You may not be allergic to it, but that's how your body responds, yep. you know, to, like, mm. I don't know, maybe it's bread or something like that, which yep. is an inflammatory mm -hmm. uh, type of food, you know. And so uh, you get to a point where you really want to understand those things, you know. And it's like, uh, you know, injuries suck, but I'm grateful for my experience with injuries and surgery because of the knowledge I've been able to build from it. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, like, you know, I can... I can really trans transform my body, you know, by not even really uh, exercising. You know, yeah, like yeah. like nutrition is is really like the key mm -hmm. to longevity. Oh, yeah. You know, put a good fuel inside the Ferrari. Yeah, you know? yeah. just be sludge. Yeah, you know, you hear this term work work smarter, not harder, right? And when you're young, you're like, you don't really know what that means, really. You know, it's like. What does that? What does that mean? You know, but it's getting to know yourself um, as best you can, like internally.